one of the one of the main reasons that I do what I do is I feel extremely lucky to be alive. I know a few friends of mine that, that didn't make it back. Yeah, on the day that I was injured, um, it was first thing in the morning. We were, we had to go and put, do a patrol outside of the operating base that we, we lived in. Um, we, we came to uh, sort of a channeled off area. You try and avoid these places, but at some point, some routes you've got to go through it. Uh, and that's what we had to do at this place. And as we went down there, um, there was just a massive explosion. I didn't feel any pain initially or anything like that. I wasn't even sure that it was me that was injured. Um, I was very disorientated, as you can imagine, it all sort of cloudy and dust. Um, and the first sort of um, reality hit me when the guys started coming over to me and, and then I knew that it was me. Uh, I was fully, fully conscious, although my vision stopped, so I don't actually remember seeing anything or or anything like that, which I think is probably a good thing because it wouldn't have been a nice vision. Um, I did sort of know what had happened because I heard me, one of my best friends was back in the base. He came out to help treat me while we were waiting and I asked him whether I'd lost my legs, um, to which he gave me the answer that I had, um, which I think I already knew. Um, the initial effect of the injury was, um, was quite psychologically a, a, a massive blow really because um, myself, I was, I was probably quite ignorant uh, about what disabled people and people with the injuries that I just sustained could actually do. So, you know, I was just thinking about all the things that I wouldn't be able to do anymore, such as playing football. I, I didn't think I'd be able to drive and things like that. You've got two two things that I need. You've got the the knob on the steering. There's a steering aid to obviously help steer with one hand, and then on the right hand side got a lever, it's just a push-pull lever. It has to be an automatic engine or gearbox um, and you push and you'll see the brake pedal, it just pushes the brakes in and if you pull the accelerator gets gets pushed down. So And, and that really is as simple as it, as it is, it's amazing. It probably costs about 200 quid to install and, and that's it. And obviously enables me to drive even with no legs. Once I regained my strength, I felt that I wanted to give something back to, to the charities that had helped me. Uh, and I initially started doing sort of fundraising tasks to raise money to, for them. Um, but I found that when you're writing letters to people and such, that it was some of them give you a bad response because you weren't an official charity, you were just writing on behalf of yourself for that charity. So I decided to start up my own charity um, get full charity status to enable me to then send out official letters and get a lot more help a lot easily really. I'm still wanting to support the other charities and the money what I give is, is going to go um, under my sort of watchful eye to those charities still but I can also make sure that every penny of it goes where it's supposed to because I know there's been a little bit of bad press lately about Health for Heroes and maybe not all the money's going where it should and I know they do an amazing job. To carry a big flame was uh, absolutely unreal. It's a bit like winning the lottery. It's uh, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Um, even the woman was crying on the phone who worked for Lloyd's, telling me that I got it. So that was kind of an indication of how big it was. Um, and then the actual day, uh, I did it in Blackpool. It was pouring down, it was windy, it was typical Blackpool weather, funnily enough. Um, but there were still thousands of people out on the streets. Uh, there was umbrellas flying off and all sorts, that's how bad it was. But so much support and, and you know, I had little kids coming up to me for my autograph and, and just things like that. It truly was um, something I was so proud to be involved in. Uh, it's probably the biggest honour that I, I can ever be given. My future plans, um, just continue with the charity stuff. Um, not long ago I did the shark dive, which was kind of the big aim that I've been working on for a while. So I've now got to kind of come up with 
with a new bucket list, if you will. I owe that, I owe it to them, I guess. That's the way I feel that I, I make the most of being here. And certainly, I'm not saying I don't have my down days, but I mean, that's not really because I was injured. I think everyone has the down days. Um, but certainly, I, nine, nine days out of ten, I'm, I'm positive and extremely happy and just want to crack on, enjoy life, spend it with my family, go out, do as much as possible, and, and hopefully raise a lot of money for charity at the same time.